Welcome to Counters. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at the consolidated statement of financial position. And by statement of financial position, we mean the balance sheet. Here, we're going to specifically focus on goodwill and pre-acquisition profits. What you do when you have goodwill and when you have pre-acquisition profits or pre-acquisition retained earnings. Now we have done a lesson on the consolidated statement of financial position before and we did a very basic statement consolidated statement of financial position so if you'd like to understand what the consolidated statement of financial position is why we do it and how we do it basically you might want to check that lesson out before you check this one out because this one here we are a bit advanced we go a bit advanced than the previous one so if you check the other one you can come back and check this one because this is lesson two now, in the other one, we also mentioned that the consolidated financial statements are the financial statements of a group presented as those of a single economic entity. And we say that's according to IFRS 10. But here, as we focus on goodwill and pre-acquisition profits, we are saying that any earnings by the subsidiary before its acquisition by the parent company must be incorporated in the cancellation process in order to arrive at a figure for goodwill arising on consolidation. So we are saying any retained earnings that the subsidiary had before it was acquired by the parent company must be incorporated into the cancellation process in order to arrive at a figure for the goodwill if you have any arising as a result of the consolidation. This means that only the parents retained earnings and post-acquisition retained earnings of subsidiaries will appear in the consolidated statement of financial position. Now, it's very important for us to take note of that. Only the parents retained earnings and the post-acquisition retained earnings. So when you buy the company, any retained earnings it had before you bought it, it must be incorporated in the cancellation. But any retained earnings that you'll acquire or it will gain after you have bought it will take part or will form part of the retained earnings in the consolidated statement of financial position. And that is what we are talking about here. Now, obviously, I mentioned you need to have understood the first lesson before this one here, which will make this one much simpler. So I hope you have done that already. You'll find the link to that one in the description below. Now let's take a look at an example of how we do goodwill and pre-acquisition profits in the consolidated statement of financial position. Here we are told that Coco Limited acquired the ordinary shares of Chapel Limited on the 28th of February 2020 when the draft statements of financial position of each company were as follows. And we are given the statement of financial position for the parent company which is Coco Limited because it acquired Chapel Limited which is which makes Chapel Limited the subsidiary. So Coco Limited, you can see here it's in yellow and Chapel Limited is here in orange, okay? And if you see the statements here, like the previous lesson, we noted that obviously the investment in the subsidiary by the parent company will appear in the non-current assets section of the balance sheet. And you can see here investment in 20,000 shares in Chapel Limited, 30,000 rand. So here, the main thing here is just doing observations. The parent company has paid 30,000 rand for the 20,000 shares. And here we go down and we look at Chapel Limited, meaning the subsidiary. We look at the subsidiary's equity section and see how much those 20,000 shares are worth. So we see 20,000 shares, 20,000 rand ordinary shares, and it's 20,000 rand. So what do you note here? You have paid 30,000 rand or the parent company, Coco Limited, has paid 30,000 rand while the share capital of the company is 20,000 rand or the share capital of the subsidiary. Okay. And then the next thing that we note here is that the retained earnings of the company is 5,000 rand. And we're talking about the retained earnings of the subsidiary is 5,000 rand. Now, dates are very important here. So we are told that it was the parent company acquired the subsidiary Chapel Limited on the 28th of February 2020. And we are also told that the statements of financial position of each company were as follows. And we see that the date of the statement is 28 February 2020. That means they've given us the statement of financial position for both companies on the date of acquisition. That means whatever appears in these two statements here occurred before the acquisition. And the main thing here is the retained earnings. So this 5,000 rand retained earnings, we know it occurred before the acquisition because it was acquired on the same date at which we are given the statement of financial position for the two companies. 
okay so we know that it was they paid 30000 rand for the company and it's worth the share the shares of the company is worth 20000 rand and they have retained earnings of 5000 rand so the main thing is to focus on those three elements okay so let me enlarge it and we can see that the first one there is the investment in the shares the second one is the value of the shares and the third one is the retained earnings okay so those are the three things now how do we calculate the goodwill we calculate the goodwill by taking the payment for the shares in the subsidiary which we get in the non-current assets section of the parent company's balance sheet which is the 30,000 rand that's the payment for the shares in the subsidiary and then we deduct the share capital of the subsidiary which is the 20,000 rand and then we deduct the share premium if you have any and here we don't have any share premium and then we also deduct the pre-acquisition retained earnings so we know the 5,000 rand is pre-acquisition as I mentioned with the dates okay so if we do that what do we get 30,000 rand is what the parent paid for the subsidiary's shares minus 20,000 the share capital of the subsidiary minus 5,000 rand retained earnings, which is the pre-acquisition retained earnings. And we know that goodwill is 5,000 rand. So in simple terms, goodwill is anything that you paid over and above the value of the company. And by the value of the company, we mean the share capital and any share premium and any pre-acquisition retained earnings. If you paid anything over that, that is goodwill. That will form part of goodwill. So one thing we also know from the first lesson that I referred to, the investment in the shares, we will cancel that one out. The ordinary shares of the subsidiary, we also cancel that one out. Okay, they will cancel each other. The investment in the shares and the ordinary share capital of the subsidiary. And then the other thing that we cancel out is any pre-acquisition retained earning and we mentioned that in the first slide where we spoke about what you cancel okay so one of them is the pre-acquisition retained earnings okay so let's look at how we complete it everything else will be added together so here is the complete consolidated statement of financial position as at the same date okay you can see the property plan and equipment for the two companies added together and we have the value there you can see goodwill is 5000 rand remember we just calculated it and then the current assets are added together and you can see there is the value we have total assets and then if you go to the equity section you can see the equity sections we only have the ordinary shares of the parent company and we only have the retained earnings of the parent company okay we didn't have any liabilities obviously we did it so it can be a simple example but one thing to note also and we'll do that in the lessons that will follow where we have post acquisition retained earnings which will be added to the retained earnings of the parent like we mentioned in the very first slide so i hope it has made sense i hope you now know what to do and you can see here what i've cancelled out the investment in the shares of the subsidiary and the share capital of the subsidiary and the pre-acquisition retain earnings you can see i have cancelled them out in red so that you can see that everything else is added together and we have what is called the consolidated statement of financial position i hope it has made sense i hope you are able to do this when you have pre-acquisition retain earnings and how to calculate the goodwill and put it in the consolidated statement of financial position if you have gained value from this lesson please subscribe to our channel like this video and share it to those you think it might help till next time cheers